I call this uh, board meeting to order. All members are present, including the student senate. Um, we have some new folks, so if you guys can all introduce yourselves. I'm Ann Maria. I'm Come on. Okay, we'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Motion by Lynn, second by Lisa. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. Um, opposed? Motion carries. Um, it is our board organizational meeting, so we have a number of organizational things to discuss at the very uh, first part of the meeting. Um, and the first thing to do is um, regarding our organization structure and specifically the election of board officers. So there are four board offices, um, chair, vice chair, treasurer, and clerk. And the um, first office that we will um, nominate would be for chair, and whoever becomes nominated for that would take that to the I second. A second. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that. I don't know if that's a vote of confidence there. <laughs> um, okay, so um, so since it's unanimous, is there or, so who are you the second? Okay, technically we have to ask if you have a nomination. Right. But there, I don't think you have to second it. You just have you don't to have to second it. You just have to ask. Oh, three times yeah. if there are any other nominations. Right. So. Or you can make a motion to cast. Right. Yes, you can do that too. And then I guess while we're doing this, I'm just going to ask: Does anybody really feel a need to switch positions? Because otherwise, if everyone's happy with the role we're in, we could just cast an unanimous ballot to keep everybody in the same positions, and then. They don't have to change the um, signature, plate. signature plate. All right. So okay, are you making? Are you nominating well, the I, people in office? Because I'm just asking. I mean, if, if somebody feels a real need that you know they want to try a new position or that, and you want to switch things around, that's fine. Then we'll just vote on Kara and go on. But if that, everyone, we've done this before where it's like you know. It's just working. I'm good like my role. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine with me. Yeah, I don't know. So, okay, because then I would make a motion that we cast an unanimous ballot to keep everyone in position they are in with you as chair, vice chair, treasurer, and clerk. Okay, so there is a motion from motion. Lynn. And I'll second to follow. Okay. All right. And then a second for um, current officers for the new position. So, Kara Hobbin as chair, Lynn Sherman as vice chair, Lisa Damon as clerk, and um, Jason Wiesenberg as treasurer. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The uh, motion carries. Okay. <coughs> Uh, okay, so committee assignments. We obviously last year we worked um, for a little bit on assigning committees and representatives to different um, organizations and board, um, board committees as well. So, are there, you know, my thought was that mostly we would keep things the same, but um, are there any committees that people would like to move on to or committees that people would like to move off of? There's a couple that we need to keep the same people right now. When you in negotiations, it would not be very good to try and change people in negotiations right now because I think um, being in mediation with one group and just having started with the other group, I think it's important to continue with that same. 
Thank you. You guys have done a great job. <laughs> Absolutely. I guess I just had one question, and I don't know if we talked about it or not, but just like with the technology recommendation that we want to have another person or two on that, mm -hmm. or do we think that that's, I mean, I don't know, thoughts on that, because you're the one that has been going on that. I don't know if that's helpful or not. I don't know. That's not, that is not a board. That's on a board level. It's not a board committee. Oh, so that maybe even be extra. But we have we have more than one on other now. Right, right. So it's like teaching and learning. Yes, yeah. Jason and I. Right. Um, Do you have any interest in that, Jason? Or are you just well, asking? I, I, I don't know. I sort of a little bit, but not necessarily. Because <laughs> I don't know what the commitment is, but I guess, you know, I'd be Usually it's once a month. Mm -hmm. It's at three. Yeah. Yeah. What day is it there? Usually the fourth Thursday of the month. Okay. Yeah, that's a tough time. Um, I mean, I think especially given the referendum, I do like that idea of having something like that. I think we say technology really well. I think maybe it's just, given everything that's going on, it would be nice to maybe have two people. I don't know. Does, or does anybody else have that opinion? I, I think it doesn't hurt to have another person just because of what's going on. Mm -hmm. If somebody has an interest in it. <laughs> but, you know, I, yes, I, I just, I, I'm like, just the, the, with the... With the timing? Yeah, with, you know, negotiations and the right stuff. I mean, that's different. And the time, time of day. Time and stuff already. And that would take time. Does anybody... Does anybody have an uh, interest in being on that committee? In, in addition to this left? I mean, I would I'm do it in the same place. Yeah. Yes. I, I would do it if, if, if the board mm -hmm. wanted to have two people, just given you know, the new referendum. Um, that's going to be related to that. But. So if it's something you can make it to, then you want to you go. If you can't make it, then you don't go. Because you're extra. <laughs> right. Well, I don't, I don't want to. <clears throat> when you. I mean, I feel like if you're either all in or you're not. Um, if you look at the description on page 11, um, I think it's always nice to have an, an extra person there, but is there anything that you would see or want different? Um, by having two people on that committee as opposed to just one. I don't know, I guess just being part of um, or the representative for the, 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 the people that helped. Um, I want to, I guess, give that communication to that group or to the community and making sure that we are, you know, doing what we said we do. So I don't know if that necessarily means I have to I just you. want to be a good communicator and be promoting that you know, we are doing all the same sure. Do you see uh, that coming differently out of the committee, or do you see that more coming from a board stance? I, I don't know if you decided where, how that is going to with the referendum. Mm -hmm. Well, what the technology committee plans has to come through us as a board and the finalist. Mm -hmm. so, Right now, we've been getting the minutes from most of the committees. Yeah, so if you, if you get the minutes and see anything that yeah. you have questions on, you can check with Lisa and then, or check with whoever else is on the sure. committee. Yeah. And, and, and maybe sure. I'll just, you know, if I've got comments or concerns or whatever, just talk to you and just tell me I'm going to be away. What's your job? But I just didn't know with it being, you know, that's a big thing to get that voted in. So just making sure that we are doing that and do, you know, I don't know, having another person. Like I said, I didn't you know that we needed or beneficial or not. I've never been part of passing that before, so I don't know what Right. It definitely feels, I mean, for me, you know, when it's a board authorized referendum like that, it definitely feels like 
this money is, isn't just coming from the state or the federal government. It feels additionally sacred, not that we wouldn't spend it as fiscally responsible as we would anything else, but it does sort of feel like it's, you know, we ask for it and to make sure that, you know, we're communicating it back to our community. And I don't, you know, I think that maybe setting those expectations and talking to Lisa about that is sufficient for the two people. And not that you wouldn't have been good at that already, but just so everybody else is feeling comfortable with where we're at. So maybe we just run our final questions through Lisa and, sure. and see how that goes. And if, if, if at any point we want to have another conversation about you know, just an update on where you know, the process for the technology we can do that too. So we're going to leave it as it is. I think so. Okay. That's what I'm hearing from people. Is that that's consensus to leave it as it is? Keep up. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, um, I'm on the RTI okay. committee, and I have not been able to make those with a conflict mm -hmm. most of those Friday mornings. Okay. Um, I don't know. I know everybody else is kind of assigned to those too. Yeah. Well, I get the same issue. Friday morning is not any comp, anything that have a push me to go. So we could trade. <laughs> <laughs> Friday for Friday? <laughs> <laughs> but she, the notes have been pretty good from those meetings now that uh, Kayla's been. You know, so. um, Friday, I mean, those have been historically difficult. Previous boards, so they're just difficult meetings to make it to for whatever variety of reasons. I can take it. Um, Fridays have become a little bit easier for me to manage with how my schedule has changed a little bit recently. So I don't know that it's so my kids going on the bus and a lot of moving parts, but I can try to um, take that over. If that, well, if you know I don't, you can't make you know, if you don't, you can't make it, but I can make it maybe 50% of the time, that's better. Yeah. And you know this week is MSBA, and we meet on Friday. Mm -hmm. And so, whether it's a school conflict or a, right. a different mm -hmm. business conflict, mm -hmm. um, I just I haven't been able to make them. Yep. So yep. it's not that I don't value or see the importance on that. It's Agreed. just literally been impossible. Just a time. Yeah. So I agree. I mean, just thinking about the curriculum. I mean, I make it about half the time, but Friday morning. Well, how about I take over RTI and um, and then if and then if that goes well and I can sub for other people, if you want to do that, is that an option as well, or does that need to be more formal? I think that would be work out. Okay. Okay. So I'll, just, I'll start trying to go with those if it works well. When other people's conflicts come up, we can help address that as well. Um, okay. So we'll change that one change then. Thank you. Yep. So RTI is moving from Lisa to but No other, any other changes for committees? Oh, okay. Well, then we will move on. Um, board meeting format. Um, it is uh, custom of the board to have a discussion about the format of the meeting during our organizational session. Um, issues regarding the agenda, format of the meetings, uh, distribution of the agenda information. Um, let's see. <coughs> Questions of format of uh, effectiveness and any changes that we'd like to see incorporated in 2018. <coughs> so. The only thing I would bring up is, um, I just always thought Mondays was kind of the way it was supposed to be, but I'm working with a couple schools right now and some things that they need to get board approval and their meetings are Wednesdays. And I started thinking, huh, that would be, you know, for me during the fall, I'm going to have another son that's in football, that's definitely going to be an issue. There are other activities that are Mondays, I know that you know, they inquire on Mondays. Um, I'm assuming Wednesdays, you know, the religion piece, but however, most of our kids, you know, one parent or or you know they can go without a parent if need be so i guess is that ever been talked about why we wouldn't look at having meetings on wednesdays versus mondays i think in the 
pass over some people that have a conflict and, you know, that's the next if they were teaching religion or something. But, and I don't know, I'm just going I mean, to there are, Wednesdays would be easier for me, but I don't know, I guess I'm asking you about. And the other, just some history, at one point we had a board member that traveled a lot, and it was easier for him when the meetings were on Monday because he could plan to leave on Tuesday and be gone for the rest of the week versus, you know, trying to, because Jim Hemish so, was on board. So, so we can talk amongst this board makeup yep. uh, about what they is well, is that right? is that this meeting i was starting i thought it was this meeting is that you, is that you would talk to the calendar meeting? for the year but that's the thing okay. okay i'm not available on okay at all. okay okay that's it yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, mean, not, yeah, I, I, I teach on Wednesday night, so I, there's no way. <laughs> okay. Well, then we'll just have to, yeah. I just yeah. thought I would ask because I know there's going to be days that we're going to be on for our kids stuff. Did you want to look and it's different night, like Tuesday night or Thursday night? Well, well I, I think Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday right. will always be, we'll always we'll have conflicts with school activities. Right. And there are more activities on Tuesday and Thursday than there are on Monday. Um, it used to be that way. You, yeah, it's not it's too much. Now it's all four days. Sure. <laughs> I would have said that it would used to be that way. It doesn't seem that way anymore. But we can have that discussion. Okay. Well, it's always something that we can, you know, if, if things change or whatever, we can run and look at it again in July. Mm -hmm. so, you know. mm -hmm. You, it's not that you won't be able to make any board meetings. No, no. It's it just, 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 I thought this more, was the time. Just, yep, no, this is. I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't. No. Okay. All right, so um, moving on. Um, board and service needs is also a typical conversation that we have at our organizational meeting. Um, we discuss any in-service training or work session experiences. And not that we can't talk about these throughout the year, but you know, for, more formally talk about it at our organizational meeting. Um, so are there any thoughts on, I know, was it last year we talked about having Greg Mandel come, and I know that he's on our tentatively on our schedule to come to do an in-service. Um, we haven't started date, but we haven't done much. Yeah, yeah. So that's for sh that'll for sure happen again. Um, have we ever considered bringing in a, a, another leader? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And not have it all be focused around him, but maybe there's someone else that can bring us mm -hmm. some insight to. Right. Mm -hmm. We've brought in some people from the MSB, but all um, staff at different times. Yeah, I think. And that's yeah, I think we talked about that. Right. Right. John Tuttle, but it's MSB, of course, he's still alive, but uh, different perspective. All right. Is there somebody you have in mind that you've worked with or used? Not necessarily. I mean, I mean, there's one person I am thinking of, but I don't know enough about him to make him say that club right now. <laughs> I just think that it's, it's beneficial to get some insight from more than just one person, yep. especially mm -hmm. when you're looking at leadership and different ways to work together. Yeah. Um, how about, because Scott and I talk about that, because that is part of the board goals as well, um, to, you know, developing our, our board. And, um, I'll put that on our agenda to talk about it specifically. Maybe uh, you probably would have more ideas than we would, but if it would fit in, hopefully, and whatnot, we can bring it back to you guys and get your opinion. So we should be a couple of other people from mm -hmm. St. Cloud State mm -hmm. that also do this. The organizational consent agenda. So there are several items of, or of organization that are defined in district policy and simply need confirmation of the consent agenda. So the first one includes that um, for the board's for board spokesperson, our existing board policy indicates that the school board chair will be the official spokesperson for public information. Um, let's see, 
potential for a change in leadership at this meeting necessities, necessitates confirmation of the role of board chair as well as person for the school board. So then the recommendation is to confirm the board chair as the official school board person. Is this an I'll motion? make a motion. This is part of it. Oh, 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 thank you. Thing. The second item is the uh, accreditation of signatures, okay. which doesn't have to change. Yeah. Right. Okay. So then, so is, I guess is there a motion? I will make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Mm -hmm. Second. Um, motion by Sunny, second by Lisa. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 The motion is approved. Comments and requests from visitors. <coughs> so is there anybody in the audience who's not on the agenda who would like to speak? Nobody, okay. Um, student Senate report, do you guys have an update for us? Um, currently we are making tie blankets to donate to project owners. And we're also doing a blood drive, which is it's going to be January 18th. I think it is, yeah. And then, is that just for students and staff? Or yes. Okay. It's students and, and staff. parents to like anyone. And yeah, it's kind of like an open mode drive, so it makes sense. We're having um, like tables at lunch set up for some. Okay. So, hypothetically, if a community member wanted to yeah. up, they can. Yep. Yeah, it's open to anyone. Okay. How do you sign up? Um, if you just go in, they have a sign-up form. I mean, as long as you're you can even walk in too. Yeah, yeah the walk-ins are walk -ins. Walk -ins, It's going to be in the high school gym. and I think it starts maybe eight, and I know it goes to one thirty. Okay, so January eighteenth in the high school gym yes. from eight to one thirty. Yeah. Okay. I think it was eight. Yeah, and if it was somebody through outside, we would be able to call proper. Well, they can call the high school office and be referred to be scheduled as well at okay. a particular time. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, consent agenda. So this is the regular consent agenda. Agenda includes the approval of the minutes from our regular meeting of December 18th. Um, there's an employment recommendation from Principal Scanson and uh, recommending Jason T for a full-time teacher position. Um, Stephanie Hillman has submitted a recommendation for Melanie Primus as a pair, uh, pair professional and um, <coughs> a supervisor. Uh, Stephanie is always also recommending Kim Dilbeck as a substitute parent educator for the remainder of the year. So, and then policy considerations. There have been a number of policies that have gone through their three readings. Um, they include Policy 7-3, Bully Prevention, Policy 7-9, Health and Safety, Policy 9-1, Activities, Policy 9-3, Open Enrollment, Policy 9-5, Medication Administration, Policy 9-6, Clinical Diseases, um, and then Leave of Absence. Caitlin Diaz, or Caitlin Diaz, um, a paraprofessional at Cold Spring, has requested a leave of absence beginning of April 2018 through the remainder of the year. And donation of $25 to the X Club was uh, received. The recommendation is to accept the recommendation. Okay, so is there a motion to approve the consent agenda? Make that motion. Motion by Mr. Mayor. You want to pull something? Yeah, I just you want, want to pull something? No yeah. problem. Sorry. I just want to pull, um, I just have a question on the Cold Spring Elementary yeah. um, position. If yep. you just yep. pull that so no problem. ask the question. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. So, um, would you like to? I'll amend it to the Okay. So, um, the motion is to approve the consent agenda uh, with the exception of the employment recommendation from Principal Scanson um, for Jason T. We'll discuss that next. Second. Second by Sunny. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries and the consent agenda is approved. Um, so we'll move this uh, this matter, the employment matter, down to right now. So go ahead and ask your question. Okay. Um, I didn't look all the way back, but maybe that way you gave me the information. Just wondering when we approved. Um, did we did we approve a position that we're filling now, and if so, when? 
in formerly crypto positions. So it's, the request is for both tonight. He's been filling in on a part-time basis, doing some intervention services. Okay. Uh, as described in Eric's information. And um, because it was very part-time and very tentative, um, you haven't been doing any, you haven't approved anything yet to this point. Okay. Um, the request now, um, because of the way things have worked and because, in essence, the success of interventions for them to continue, the request is to make it full Okay, is that budgeted? It's not specifically budgeted, it would be in addition to the budget. So, uh, how do you... Does it fit in the budget? How if I we talk about that? Yeah. So, how does it work? It comes from general fund. But, so, how does that, I don't, I don't know what the question is, other than you talked about doing this prioritization of needs and bringing them out at budget time so that we can follow that. Is this it's, something it's, that we didn't expect or didn't correct. know we were going to have a need for? It's a lot like a special education situation. Uh, we had students that have come to us um, from out of country that have very specific needs. And that we didn't, that we didn't have a plan. We didn't know they were. Correct. Okay. We have been, I mean, we have heard reports about it since the beginning of the school day. Yeah. Um, that was what I based right. my question yeah. off of. Yeah. I knew yeah. we were talking, yeah. but, it, but we didn't know, but we didn't know the time that we were, were yeah, budgeting budget deal with exactly. the additional yeah. resources. So, so the part-time budgeting, that was just coming out of Eric's budget, or was that coming out of, how are we paying for the general fund up to this point? On a tentative basis. On a tentative basis, is this part of, you know, we move some people, especially when one left? It's part of that. Right. Yeah. Part of the person that had been at high school went to elementary and yeah. It's a part of that whole package. And I do remember a conversation with her that we were not covering all the minutes that was required for all of the students in that EL program. So we weren't meeting the state. And we did. So then this is K-5 then, correct? Like, correct. like he'll handle all grades? He's, he's working more right. as an interventionist, so it's the students that have particular needs. Uh, as a, I mean, it will be yes, K-5, but okay. it's, it's, he's working with a very small focus on students. Where it's most needed. Group. Okay. Mark, did you? Do you mind? I mean, I'm yeah. sorry. I, I got I got hit with a few questions today too. Is is a what is an EL interventionist? You know, EL programming is K-12, and so this is a new thing for us. It just kind of popped up, and everybody's kind of going, "Well, what is that? Mm -hmm. Is it a behavior interventionist? Is it working specifically with English language learners in terms of their language?" Third is what schedule? Are they on a teacher salary or are they on, you know, on the, the proposal there? It's a schedule um, or classified, I believe it is. You know, at a half time at twenty some thousand dollars, you know, that's more than a first year teacher is making. Um, what exactly does that job description look like? So those are just some of the questions we had in our building once that thing kind of popped up today. It's like it's a teacher assignment. Um, working closely with the Yale program, the Yale teachers, um, but doing, it's not the same assignment as the Yale teachers because it's a very small group and very focused need, but it's a combination of both Yale and the labor which is why the intervention is tight on this. But it is. Do we have a job description for this type of work? It's modeled after that. I don't have a specific one for it, but no, it's, it's modeled off the EL program. But we, we so. don't, we don't have job descriptions for the individual teacher assignments. We don't have a teacher job description. But this isn't. It's a teacher assignment. Okay. So back to Mark's point, it's following the teacher schedule yeah. for pay. Correct. And they're on uh, step year one. First, step. first year, step two. Yeah, step two 
because he has a year of previous experience, but he has one. So is he a teacher? He is a teacher. Oh. And again, just to clarify, so your question mark was what exactly, what part is he going to be doing? You know, is he working with? Well, yeah, I, well, the questions we had in, the, in our building was, you know, EL has been sort of treated as a K-12 program. And so in looking at the numbers and keeping all of these things together, and, and when Gwen left, um, we hired for that position. That isn't this position at all. So when Laura left, Nicole from the middle school moved down, so we hired, so everything stayed there. This is an additional FTE or a part-time FTE going to a building now, which then causes everybody else, to, everybody else to kind of go, wait a minute. <laughs> and I understand, I'm not saying that there aren't specific needs there, but I don't know how the process evolved. And like my staff had very little input, if any, first thing I saw was today. You know. So I guess I would ask, how did it evolve? I mean, is there a better way for this to be communicated so that we're not sitting here? Or why Why did it happen like this? Well, in many ways, it's a lot like a special education proposal that comes to you. It's a need that has developed at a particular building. If we have a special education need at those levels, then we'll have a request for a pair of professionals from two of our sites coming forward. But it's a lot of that dream. As Lynn said, we were not meeting the needs of students at Cold Spring Elementary, um, in particular because some students I need to be careful in terms of student data privacy because it's a small approach country. And things that we say could identify those students, so I want to be careful how we cover that. Um, there are very particular needs from students that are new to country and uh, new to district on this. Um, when they first arrived, we had um, some very challenging pieces with that. Um, and so on a temporary basis, we put some measures in place to assist with that process. We've been working on that on some very short-term basis um, since the uh, middle of the fall. Uh, as we've been working with it right before the break, uh, we had a fairly large meeting, not unlike an IEP meeting at Cold Spring Elementary with uh, all of our liaisons with there were probably six members of the teaching staff, um, and it was a fairly large meeting that essentially confirmed that the assistance so far has made a lot of progress, but in order to continue the progress, the position needed to continue through the end of the year. The discussions will unfold because the Yale program is discussing its overall structure. So this position will be incorporated within those conversations to come back with a recommendation of what the overall EL program looks like beginning next year. But there is, much like special education, there's a, a need that has been demonstrated at the build, and that's why the request is here for the position. So do we anticipate that the need will carry over into the next budget year? I can't answer that. I don't know the answer to that. It all depends on how we structure the overall of you know, program. Because there are some different ways that the team is looking at things. Um, and they may structure a different program for new to country students, K-12. I don't know what that looks like until they've gone through their process. So, we can't get so in this fairly large meeting, and it's a K-12 through program, was there not any other members? The, the, need, was, the need is specific to Gold Spring Elementary, so it was Gold Spring Elementary staff. That, that was my question, is are our other elementaries okay right now? And so it's just kind of, is it isolated to be Cold Spring Elementary right now? But it allows us, this position allows us to better serve out from Cold Spring Elementary because the resources aren't tied specifically to folks from elementary to these So those that are serving John Clark Elementary are better able to 
indirectly. Okay, that that was with our focus on early learners. That was part of my question too: is how what does that look like, and how are we making sure that even though we're individual elementary, that we're being equal. Um, adjusting and the contract. Thank you. Yeah. Um, the contract is just through this year. Through the year. Right. And so if it were to continue on to next year, we'd have to come back. Over the to come back in our process. Yeah. Okay. So like for this one, it's something temporary. When you create this position, do you have a posting that you put out there for applicants to create? We, the application came through an email. Um, so there was an application for other people to apply to the position. That did say that two yeah. people were two out of two applications, number five on the team. I'll make a motion to approve the position. Motion by Lisa. Second by Lynn. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, okay. please. Yeah. So does it answer your questions, Mark? Because obviously you had questions about Well, I, yeah, I mean, I don't, it's not going to change. You know, it's just, I, I think that the process, the communication process, the discussion process, the overall looking at the program, you know, I don't know if necessarily for how we, and, and again, I'm going I'm to say this just because of years of it, as a secondary principal, when we hit this time of the year, I get very nervous of people adding, we're adding things, and then a couple of weeks from now, I'll be told, oh, <laughs> we're going to have to take this out or that out. You know, and I know you guys are doing a lot of things differently, and I'm hoping that's the case, but I just think that, you know, we need a better process of how we add additional things sometimes. And I know you're, like I said, I know you're working on it. I just got a lot of questions today. Um, people weren't aware of that. So From within that program? Within the program as well as within the building. Everybody, you know, good news is people are reading the board packet when it goes out. <laughs> but that, that's, I guess all I would say is, you know, as educators, we like to learn from it. So is there any way, and again, maybe, you know, that's up to you, Scott, that if this is a K-12 through program, we maybe just make sure that everybody's kind of in the loop because I think it would allow you, Mark, to, you know, educate the people that came to you and say, this is why we're doing it. I had a conversation with Eric. This is something we need to do. Well, we also have specific needs in our building, and maybe there's something that could have happened, you know, uniquely between the two buildings. Um, maybe maybe it's not part time. Maybe it's a full time, or maybe it's I've got some extra time with this person. We could shift. You know, there's a lot of scenarios we could have kind of worked through prior to. This so again, yeah, same thing we asked last year. I mean, collaboration is what you guys preach to all your teachers. So I guess I'm hearing that maybe that could have maybe been a little bit better between. You know the Coastal Elementary and the rest of the K through 12 learning program, so that and we could have maybe had some discussions. That's at. a good. That's a good conversation to have. I don't know that that's. I think that's what it's related, but not necessary in this specific instance. I think right now we're looking at you know the binary question of do we um, hire this person to fill this role for the next remainder of the school year, and so I think we. We um, set that aside. And could we hire him with the idea that we add to the motion that um, if we looked at that his services could also be used in other parts of the program if, if it worked out? That is the potential intent. Okay. So that's not it's specifically it's just. It made very well work. Okay. I mean, it's a position that if he's successful, he should work himself out of your position. And at that point, then we would broaden the services. So he could move within the, the program and sort of work with what needs to be done. But this knowledge is temporary for this year. Right, right. 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 Yeah. But for the rest of the year, you know, yeah. that's an extra time. So do you want that as part of the motion, or do you want... I don't know how to make the motion so that it's not specific to... Because right now, the position is being built says Coastal yes. Elementary EL Interventionist. Um, could we somehow amend that to say a district EL Interventionist so that um, if it worked with schedules, he could be used in other parts of the program? So we're actually 
changing the position to district-wide well, EL interventionalists or first focused on our greatest need, which is Cold Spring Elementary, and then for our administration to take our work. other needs? Maybe we already do this, that we move staff around as needed, but just the idea that since it is a K-12 program, maybe we don't want to tie people's hands by saying, well, this person was hired for Cold Spring Elementary and we can't use them anyplace else. I, I, I agree with what you're saying because this does look like it's only Cold Spring Elementary. And so can it be that we're filling up an EL interventionist position where the focus is going to be in Cold Spring Elementary, but if that need is fulfilled, then we can still move the person elsewhere. I, yeah. I mean, can we just Maybe keep the dramatic? Yeah. Or we just keep the just job description as is with the directive of working with the menial program yeah, and, for us and, the, and the team to mm -hmm. you know flush this out as, as it goes so do it doesn't need to be a job description do we need to change the job description well we don't have a job description the job description is teaching okay so it's really not the job description this this request, the request says is what CS, it's Cold Spring Elementary EL interventionist so Either we approve the request the way it is with the directive that the person moves wherever the need is if this need is fulfilled, or we approve the staffing recommendation as just a district wide EL interventionist. Right? Mm -hmm. Is there any problem changing it to district wide? No, if I'm hearing the conversation right here, we have it as a district wide deal and our mention is with Cold Spring Elementary focus. That's what my motion will be. Okay. So, Lynn's motion is to approve the position that it would be a district wide EL interventionist with a CSE focus. Um, is there a second? Uh, I second. Second. I'll Second for amended. <laughs> <laughs> no, like the first time. Well, the, the, right, because right, that's when it dropped. Right, so that. Right. Well, she amended, so I'll continue myself. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Right. Okay. Um, uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed. Um, the motion carries. Right. Okay. Thank you for that description. So thank you. Okay, perfect. Um, the first, uh, we're on the action items, and the first, I guess, and only action item is to do contact with board members. This is a normal process, um, and it basically just states that any board members that do business with school district um, uh, enter into a, I guess, let's see. It just, does, is it a formal agreement or is it just it's a resolution? It's a resolution. It's a resolution. Okay. So a resolution that, ref that reflects the school district's relationship um, and specifically with the businesses represented here would be the Cold Spring Bakery and BSN Sports and US Games. And again, this isn't something new, this is something that's been done with. So, um, the recommendation is to adopt these resolutions. And is this, this is one resolution? I have one, it's two. Oh, it's two, okay. Okay, so then the first resolution would be, actually it's three. Does it have to be done separately? It should be done individually. Okay, perfect. I'll, I'll make a motion to approve the resolution to conduct business with U.S. Games. Okay. Um, motion by Sunny. Alright, the second. Yeah. Just in there, my name is listed on his um, um, Shannon's oh, um, nice. on the second page. What page are you on? Yeah. Which one? What page are you on? Um because there's three. Yeah. Okay, but on well, on the third page of each one where it says um, affidavit, let's see, 
they have priceless for Lauren Sherman and then it's in sort of copy in the BSN. Of course. So it was vulgar. Um, some typos. Yeah. It's on the page she used to say the sheet, but so can we just make sure that those are yeah, okay, that's my bad. Okay, okay. We just need to fix those before they go into the resolution. Resolution Okay. So the resolution is to do business with U.S. U.S. games. Okay. So motion by Sunny, second by Jason. Any further discussion? This is a roll we'll call vote. Um, so, all those in favor, please vote. Okay. Aye. 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 Motion carries. I'll make motion to refer the resolution to do business with the SM's board. Motion by Sunny. Second by Jason. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please indicate that. Resolution. Or, uh, we'll call both. Yeah. I see. I. 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 And so then just the affidavit form is just to be. Okay, on to discussion items. Um, let's see. First up are policy considerations. First readings for policies of 919 immunization requirements. Um, it's based on an MSBA model policy and it's been reviewed by school nurse Tracy Quinman um, and the policy committee. It's recommended for the first reading at this point. Um, and it will return for a second, third reading. Are there any questions or comments or does the policy committee want to provide details on it? It's fine if you don't. Okay. I mean, this is an issue that's been in the news and never worried or parents don't want to have their kids. Do we have a lot of parents that choose not to have their kids? When we get all the way down, it's a very small number. Um, at the start of the year, there's usually a, a longer list of folks that has conflicts on the Policy 213, is, is everybody good with that policy discussion? Policy 213, which is new to the district and is under consideration for first reading, the policy is uh, related to naming rights, um, to building and facilities, buildings and facilities. Um, this is related to the recent request from the Booster Club to consider adjustments to facilities, and they have encouraged, um, and you know, the group has encouraged uh, a little putting this as a policy. Um, were there any questions regarding that policy or comments on how it was built? So the, this is my first reading. We have not even discussed it in policy committee yet, but we wanted to be able to do that. Okay. And, and we wanted to open up for any comments, feedback. So basically, yeah. Yeah. it still gives us the right to grant maybe a facility or something, but it doesn't require us. So they can't give money saying, I'll give it only if you name these yeah. I really like the direction of the policy. I think there's a lot of good information. There were just two really minor things, and since you haven't met yet, I'll just tell you on this one. Mm -hmm. um, page um, one of the policy under 2A1, um, it just talks about in each circumstance a school district will enter into an MOU. Um, I didn't know if it should say with home, um, or if it's okay just to kind of let it hang there with the assumption that it's going to be whoever is going to be looking for that. That just felt a little, a little um, 
have a left hanging. And then on um, page four of the policy, just a really minor thing, um, grammatical thing. Under uh, B, no, under C. Oh, I know, under B, my question was, um, the single donation meets or exceeds 10% of the project's cost, and I just wondered if 10% was um, fair or if that number could maybe be looked at or explored if there was a reason. And then under C, um, the school district will determine the appropriate size and the wording of the signage. The district shall maintain the signage. The signage will be a display term. Um, I think it just is missing maybe it will be a display term that's just like grammatical right yeah. there. But otherwise I really like the direction. So what the ten percent I don't I don't know. It caught me as really low. <laughs> that seems low too to me. It caught me as very, very low. Oh, right, I know, but I, yeah, I just thought ten percent. Right. So that'd be if it's A and B. So that have to be a uh, consistent donation and a single donation. Right. So two of them. Yeah. Two so, uh, yeah. Um, so we're looking at a million dollar cut basically. Yeah. Based on that. <clears throat> or maybe they could put, be put into one line rather than two separate items mm -hmm. and then make that a little bit clearer. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's. that's Go ahead and enjoy your policy meeting. <laughs> those, are just, those are just my catches. <laughs> One other thing is I'm looking at this again. It says in each circumstance the school district will enter into a memorandum of understanding, but that would only be if somebody's giving financial gift. Because if we're naming something after a historical Person, which is an option underneath the B part, who would you enter in a, into with an MOU? Yeah. So you might want to put, if, you know, if you if it's financial, then it makes sense. But if it's not financial, then you're just wanting to name something after somebody who's. It's probably not addressed in what the best place, but it's on page 70 and 2 E is kind of a reaction to that. But okay, yeah, why are you know, saying it right away in yeah. part 2? Yeah. Something else to look at? Oh, that's good to do that. The, I do know that this policy has a little bit of uh, urgency. I think that I have in my notes that it needs to be approved by February 15th or something. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. we have, yep, yeah, so we have enough meetings. I just want to make sure that that's clear at this point. Okay. We're on the same page with that. Discussion on this policy. Oh, administrative and board reports. So community feedback. So this is just an opportunity for us to share things that are happening maybe mm, no formal actions required. So if you have anything you'd like to share? I had some comments about the free crowd creation. Okay. They they liked having that. Um, they felt that there's some opportunities to maybe um, instead of like the award piece, maybe like focus on like that that sport or that uh, robotics or whatever, because um, I think it would be like single times a word and then football and then football or whatever, and then it would be football academic and then it go back to football and then it go back to I mean, group it. Back. Group it, yeah, the grouping of it and a little bit better. And then there was some discussion about, like, for the athletic awards that it seemed almost um, for parents who have the, for this person parent as a parent, like they just got into a banquet and they just had been through all of these awards at the banquet and then now here we are doing, you know, and it's great to recognize it, but is it double dipping or is it, 
you know, is there a way to maybe change that so that it's not banquet and then this again, or? I think it's or, different because a banquet is only the people that participate in that activity are invited to the banquet, where this is, yeah, it's for the community and it's televised and so more people get to see what people are achieving and what, what's going on. So. Yeah, I would say that's what the, the comment I got. It was it was great to have all the different facets of the recorded priority in one place. Streamlining it would have been yeah. just a function of just improving it, where you know we do all the football stuff and we don't have to have you know one kid come up seven times. Right. He come up one time. All of that one person. And then when we can yeah. read off all of his achievements and yeah. honor him right there, yeah. and it's done. And, and the kids would appreciate that, yeah. as would you know. Tom. I thought he was getting his exercise yeah. going up and down. So I, I think that you know it's kind of on the lines of what what you're saying, um, but I think I, the comment I got was the, the people that had non-athlete kids. Um, it was awesome for their kids to be in the same room with some of the kids that always get the awards and have them be part of that. So, yeah. Is there a way to differentiate what their what honors they're receiving at a banquet as opposed to what honor you know? Were giving them as a board. So well, it's a it's a it's not. Think, would it be as would it be as big of a deal though if we better grouped things? You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I think it was maybe a, that obvious because we because it wasn't well grouped or yeah. well organized. But we're better organized, and one kid was coming down one time and getting recognized for everything. Then maybe it wouldn't be such a big deal that they were also recognized for those same things at a. Um, I think Joel did a really nice job, and I think we could streamline that both for the students, but also us as board members, and make it a little bit more meaningful rather than shaking the same kid's hand you know, through all six of it. I just think there's just mm -hmm. a little bit of yeah, yeah. tweaking. Yeah, just nice and finessy. Yep, and then making sure that it is remaining a board award, you know, because it is a recording proud is a board award, and as long as we want that to remain, we may need to. Mm -hmm look at it a little differently mm -hmm. and have a little more involvement mm -hmm. somehow but that yeah I another discussion that if it's possible somehow you know we didn't have we didn't do any photos with board members but right. it was just this and, and then it was in, shifted from being board award to right and so is it possible at the end to have one big picture with all of the people who were recognized with all of the board members instead of having 30 pictures in the close frame record, mm -hmm. you could have one big group picture with, you know, information underneath. <coughs> is, this, is this, I think these are all really good ideas. Is the committee planning a meeting again? Uh, like, well, I'm sure we will, you know, it will talk about tweaking it, but, you know, it's one of those things that I think it's a pretty easy solve. We just ask to organize it a little bit more. And, and to the question Jason had, and I know football didn't do it because I, I recognize that was, I was just at the bank with like the all-conference awards and things that didn't need to be there. I know they didn't, and there might be a few things where we could just say, hey, Joel, are there, are there banquet awards that can be recognized there? And then, you know, the, the recorded crowd awards maybe have a little different. Can you guys have, a, I mean, I think it would be helpful if you guys had in a meeting with Joel and create a flush out an agenda with him. We can, but it's hard. To get another meeting. I, I would say that we will. I, mean, I don't think it's it's not urgent. Right. If there's like four, three or four more to tell. No, we should have another one at the end of the winter. So before we do the spring. Yeah. And I think there was some awards we missed too. So I don't know that I heard. So okay. I don't know. And I, is there any chatter from the student perspective that about that award ceremony? Did I did go. Okay. Well, oh, but I was they were only really on the yesterday and telling all their friends. <laughs> you know, so I, I think there were some all-conference for the swimming. Well, but that's what I'm saying is they didn't do like all. Like, I don't know. He didn't song. nominate any all-conference for okay. at least for football. So he did like the right. two Star Wars, but he didn't do the. So maybe that would be just sort of an understanding of these really Was that we do receive give? Or is so, anyway, to flush that out would be good. Just to be back in the our ad hoc committee when we need more time at some point. Yeah. Um, I would just ask that we not wait until the last minute to try to schedule it because then it'll be like it was last time where we're trying to 
have it ended. Let's try and find it for February and we'll try and help. Or Bart, can you send out a little uh, poll to try and find sometime when Joel can meet with our committee? In February? Yeah, yeah start, start with February. February. And make sure you yeah, and sure I, yeah. I mean to even lay out an agenda so like because I know that um, you know I, I will prepare some remarks to open it up and then Joel had prepared the same remarks and so there was just some really yeah okay. so I just think there's some small details of course Joel's good at just making it work but it was just the layout of the look of it too yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad we have such a capable committee to figure that out. <laughs> I can't say we can take a lot of trouble. <laughs> I mean, Joel just kind of did it. No. <laughs> uh, um, uh, academic, um, academic uh, administrative reports. Um, so page 73, so there's a number of reports included. Board book, was there anything specific you wanted to highlight, Scott? Any questions? Nope. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. And then, um, business and financial. Uh, the community solar garden. Um, it looks like you know we've gone through this for a number of years with Sun Edison, and now we've entered into a functional um, relationship with Solcor Energy. That's they're online and. Exciting. So you have an update for us on that. Is that correct? Or just basically, what's included in the document? I know my document wasn't uploading before. I'm just curious if I made it this time. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's here. Okay. So if I have any questions, just refer to that. So, that, but that is good news for our district. We will save money on. Great. And upcoming events and activities. We're always going to be I'll be I cannot make a place here. Which I want to be because it's a really good conference. Are you going to be there? Yeah, I should be moving. I'm talking to yeah. help. Oh. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to get to the city earlier. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember one year, Scott and like every superintendent, it was oh, crazy. The whole conference center was filled <laughs> with superintendents canceling school across the entire state. It was it was one of the craziest things I've ever seen. It was bizarre, but anyway. Well, that's better than the time when the governor of school on the first day of the MSP convention because then all of these superintendents were a little perturbed because the governor wasn't supposed to call out school. Oh, so I love 22 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I had a baby that day. <laughs> I think I was in school when that happened. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was at least 23. <laughs> it was it <laughs> all right, I'm over that. Let's wrap this one up because we have a whole other one. No, you guys are fine. Um, but is there a motion to close the meeting? Or to adjourn? Adjourn. I will make a motion to adjourn. adjourn. Motion by second. Second by Lisa. Thank no. you for the reason. Lynn, thank you. <laughs> I have Monday brain. <laughs> um, second by Lynn. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor present the same aye. 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 The meeting has adjourned. Oh, post. Oh, <laughs> <I was waiting. laughs> okay, so now we have to. Yeah, yeah. Let's take a.